A new contender in the Android handheld market is the Pocket Micro from Ioneo. This is Ioneo's first attempt to enter the affordable segment. It focuses on emulating various retro consoles while featuring a sleek modern design and high quality materials. This little device combines retro aesthetics with some serious tech to bridge the gap between old school gaming nostalgia and modern handheld performance. Let's walk through all its features, review its design and performance, and discuss whether it's worth the price in a competitive market. Let's start with the design, honestly. It's one of the first things that caught attention. The Aya Neo Pocket Micro is crafted with a CNC aluminum alloy frame, which makes the handheld feel incredibly premium and durable right out of the box. You can tell that Ioneo has put some serious effort into making this device stand out in terms of aesthetics. It comes in two color options, Magic Black and Soul Red. Each one has a sleek modern look with shiny glass panels and a cool anodized aluminum finish. Size-wise, it's not small and it's not big and certainly not micro. It's the same size as a typical smartphone and weighs the same as one. Its length allows it to fit comfortably only in larger pockets. So if you're okay with carrying it in a jacket or larger pants pocket, it's not a problem. The device has a sleek, flat design, but it's not the most comfortable to hold for long periods. The sharp edges can start to feel uncomfortable after a while, so it's not ideal for marathon gaming sessions. Moving on to the display, here's where the Pocket Micro wins literally. It features a 3.5-inch borderless IPS screen with a resolution of 960 by 640 and a 3x2 aspect ratio. The pixel density is 330 ppi, which makes for some sharp visuals, and it covers 100% of the sRGB spectrum, so the colors look vibrant and accurate. What's cool about the display is its 4x native GBA resolution. If you're into retro gaming, especially Game Boy Advance titles, they look fantastic on this screen. There's no pixelation or distortion, and the clarity is spot on. It's an upgrade over other budget handhelds in this market. Under the hood, the Pocket Micro is powered by a MediaTek Helio G99 processor, which is impressive for a handheld in this price range. It comes with either 6GB or 8GB of LPDDR 4X memory, based on the version you choose. It also offers 128GB or 256GB of storage. That's a lot of space for all your retro gaming needs. This thing can handle up to PS2 games, which is impressive for a handheld of this size. From NES and GBA games to some more demanding titles like Dreamcast and GameCube games, it ran everything pretty smoothly. However, you'll start to notice some performance dips when you push the system with higher-end emulation. All right, let's talk about controls because this is another area where the Pocket Micro does something unique. The Hall joysticks feel responsive and smooth, though their placement might be an issue for some players. They sit a bit high above the shell. While this design allows for great movement, it makes the device slightly less portable. The shoulder buttons have different heights, which is a unique design. They're small but strong, maintaining the device's slim look without compromising much on functionality. However, they're not analog buttons, which might be a drawback for some players, especially for those who are used to consoles like the Switch. The X-axis linear motor for vibration feedback is subtle, but enhances the overall experience when playing certain games. Combine that with the six-axis gyroscope, and you've got a pretty advanced control setup for a device this small. The Pocket Micro runs on Android 13, which gives it a familiar interface for most users. It's got dual-band Wi-Fi 5 and Bluetooth 5.2 for wireless connectivity, and there's a USB Type-C port for charging and data transfer. You also get a micro SD card slot for extra storage, which is essential if you plan to store a lot of ROMs on this thing. However, one area where the Pocket Micro could improve is the software experience. While the device features Aya Space Management Front End and Aya Home Desktop Launcher, the setup process wasn't as seamless as hoped. The interface was still set to Chinese, and navigating the system to change the language was more complicated than expected. For a beginner, this could be a bit of a headache. The Pocket Micro comes with a 2600 mAh battery, which isn't exactly huge. On average, you can get around four to five hours of gameplay on a single charge. Simpler games can get you closer to six hours. 
To keep the device from overheating, it has a cooling system with fans. While this works well, the fans can get noisy, especially when they're running at full speed. So, if you're gaming in a quiet environment, you might hear them. A couple of extra features worth mentioning are that the device includes a fingerprint reader integrated into the power button for biometric security, which is a nice touch. There's also SoundTap Magic Sound Vibration for enhanced audio feedback. It makes games feel more realistic and exciting. The Ioneo Pocket Micro is priced at $251 for the 8256GB variant and $221 for the 6128GB variant. It is in the mid-range for handheld gaming devices. Compared to the Anbernic RG503 and Retroid Pocket 4 Pro, it is more expensive but offers a higher quality build, superior display, and better performance. Would we recommend it? For retro gaming enthusiasts, absolutely. The Ioneo Pocket Micro is a premium, portable device with a sharp display and decent performance making it a strong contender. However, it's not without its flaws. The sharp edges can make extended gameplay uncomfortable, the battery life could be better. But if you're willing to look past those, the Pocket Micro delivers a unique and satisfying handheld gaming experience. So you might want to consider other alternatives for casual gamers or those looking for a more ergonomic option. That's it for our review. If you enjoyed it and found it helpful, give us a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel for more updates.